I'm going to show you how to use LucidChart to make a timeline. So first, to get to LucidChart inside your ClassLink login, it's probably not inside a folder like mine is, you'll see a thing that says LucidPress and a thing that says LucidChart. We want LucidChart. So we're going to pull it up. Now I'm going to go into some documents. You can stay in your home if you want. This is kind of Google Doc-esque. So here I'm, I'm going to create a new document and I want a LucidChart document. Now one of the first things people forget to name things. So name it whatever timeline you're working on. Uh, end of the Roman Republic or um, the Mongol invasions or whatever whatever you're doing. So today I'm going to do the English Civil War. Just as an example, doesn't really matter what you do. Or actually, I think I'll do... Because that sounds like more fun. Okay, now, you're here inside this thing. Let me show you some of the basic functionality. If I click and drag one of these boxes over, it creates a spot that I could type. I can either double click in there, or if I just clicked on the box and start typing, it will work. And you need a few things. First thing you need is the year of the event. All of this is in Canvas. And then you need uh, a title for the event. <laughs> yeah, You need a couple other things. But you notice, if I click on one of these um, one of these circles here and then drag it creates a nice little arrow and then it gives me a choice whether I want to create text or a box so I could set up each one of my years here and you notice I'm just I'm just double clicking inside each one of the boxes and creating uh, what I want to do. So I'm going to step back a little bit. If I click and hit the delete key, I can delete whatever I want to delete. So I'm going to start by clicking and dragging some text over and setting up my years. <laughs> That'd be funny. Once I'm done, you see I hover over it and those dots appear. I'm going to set up my years. I won't make you watch that. So I have my years made. I've got that all set and looking pretty. Notice I've just done the text and once I reach the edge of the page it just kept going for me. Because this is digital we don't need to worry about the pages. Now you need a title for the event. I'm going to put that in a box. Um, this is the You need a description. Blah, 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 blah. You don't need to worry about that. If you right click or on a Chromebook, you alt click and uh, move, you can move your canvas around. That makes it a little bit easier to do what you want. And you can go off the top and the bottom also. You have to say why this mattered. As usual, your descriptions need to be long enough that they include all of the kind of pertinent information. They need to be uh, in your own words. You can't just copy and paste whatever I gave you. You can Google things. Uh, but I recommend that you stick to the tools that I give you just because that makes it a little bit easier um, to know what's important. So last, I said you need an image, and that's a little trickier. So if you do a Google image search for whatever, um, 
sometimes it's really nice to uh, think of something that's related but not exactly the same thing. So this is the proclamation of 1763. I'm going to choose uh, an image of King George III because that's just kind of it just kind of shows what they were mad about. Now I'm going to click on it, drag it up to the top, move it over, and put it where I want it. And it's just going to create the image. Then I can use this to tie the two together. And if I need to move something, I could put this wherever I want. I can move it around. I can add more information off the side. But that's basically besides not being long enough descriptions, that's basically what you need for each year. And that'll do. Although I will show you a few like customization things. If you click on the the box that anything's in, you could change the color of the fill. You could change um, the line around it, how opaque it is. You could change shapes. You could change uh, the style of the line that surrounds it. You can you can do all kinds of cool stuff. Um, just if it makes you happy. Finally, when you're done, when you're ready to submit, if you go into Canvas, you'll see there is a tab that says Lucid Chart um, in the submission. If if it's not there, you click More. You know, on the top it says text and uh, text box, Google Docs, blah, 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 blah. If you go over, there is an option for Lucid Chart, and that's the easiest way to submit it.